Stop acting like you know celebrities and you know everything because you know what? You really don't know anything and I'm not going to tell you. You said this to me, but we were talking about Full House and about Lori Loughlin and how I said it wasn't fair that they didn't let her finish out season 5 of Fuller House. And he said, well, she had no right to do what she did. So they had to fire her because she did, she didn't follow the rules. Well, um, excuse me, what fucking rules did she break on Fuller House and slash Fuller House? Absolutely nothing. She didn't break anything. It happened outside of her job. So she shouldn't have got fired for something that happened outside of her job. And she should be allowed to at least since since um, she it didn't have you know and since Fuller House was ending she should have been allowed to say her goodbyes on the show you know say goodbye to the show she was a big part of that show and then he's like no no she had no right she had no right she had no right she no 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 she has no way and I disagree because she doesn't have rights to be on the show and say her goodbyes. Nah, 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 nah. Um, yes, yeah, she does. She has all rights to say her goodbyes to the show since it's ending, just like all the other cast members got to do. Since they didn't get to the first round. So, yeah, she has the right. And then I said something about, because someone said, what about Roseanne getting fired from her own show? And I said, yeah, I was very upset about that. Yeah, she said something wrong, but she didn't do it on the show. So she shouldn't have gotten fired for it since it was on Twitter. Because I said there was a girl on TN the TNT channel that said something bad on the show. And the next day she apologized for it. And they were like, okay, you can keep your job. But Roseanne, she even deleted her statement, said she was sorry for saying it on Twitter. And they're like, nope, you're still firing. You're still firing. And I said, that's not fair that she gets to keep her job, and yet Roseanne gets fired from hers. When Roseanne didn't say it on TV like that girl did, I say, be fair. If, if you're going to fire Roseanne, then fire that girl. If you're not going to fire that girl, then you can't fire Roseanne. Because it's not fair. And then he's telling me, different channels and different stations have different rules. And they can do what they want. Maybe they thought it was okay to, to let her keep her job and her not. I'm like, you don't get it. You don't know celebrities. You don't get it. You're like, forget celebrities. I have no sympathy for rich people. Do, 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 do. When I think that's bullshit. That's very bullshit. And you should care. That's the reason why you watch their movies and their TV shows. If it wasn't for them being on those TV shows and movies, you wouldn't have nothing to watch. So shut the fuck up. You don't know sh diddly squat. You're wrong and you know it and... I'm sorry, it's not an opinion or whatever, but no, they need to be fair. Just like the whole, they they were fair with um, with that live LA show on A and E. Cops was canceled because of all the backlash they're getting, so they decided to cancel it. And I, and then they're looking at live LA, LA Live. However you say the stupid show's name that's kind of like cops and said maybe we, we should cancel that show too because it's got to deal with cops da, da, da. and they decided to cancel it so that show got canceled and they were being fair by because it wouldn't be fair to cancel one and not the other just because one's more popular than the other and all this bullshit but that's just my opinion anyways I'm gonna get going talk to y'all later Later, haters. FYI, all the soaps are the same. They're all playing reruns right now. 
There's no new episodes for any of the soaps. I don't watch Days of Our Lives. I do not watch Young and the Wrestles. But they both got reruns. Actually, I heard they both had reruns before General Hospital started reruns. So, General Hospital was further along with new episodes than they were. This guy's trying to tell me, trying to act like he knows soaps when he doesn't watch soaps, and he's all like, because I found out on Extra, I think I was watching, they said that they have new rules for filming and for, for filming movies and filming, I got waters in my ears, anyways, trying to get that out, but anyways, uh, filming movies and TV shows. The rule is they come in, they give them a COVID test, thermometer test, you know, thing. Then they put them in a room for 14 days just to be on the safe side. Then they let them out and test them again. And then they film the movie and they're not allowed to leave the room that they're in for any reason. The only reason to leave is to put on a mask and and go directly straight to filming and then after filming go straight back and that is it no food they can't go get food they can't go see their friends they can't do nothing and they're going to do the same thing for tv shows because usually tv shows they film their episodes months in advance for like a whole they do one episode for like a week and then they take a break, and then they film another one. So that's going to be different. They're probably going to film all the episodes all at once, kind of like what Fuller House did, and then be done. But for soaps, I was like, I wonder how they're going to do the soaps ones since they do new episodes every single day. They can't just stay in their house and go from their house to studios every single day while their family gets to go out and stuff because they could possibly bring in the virus. So they would probably have to stay like at a hotel or something and then film. And I know they're, so are they going to have to still do the whole I don't know. My opinion is, are they going to have to film all the way, like, do, since they're, okay, they, they're a month, usually they're a month behind from what we see on filming, and they do that on purpose, so they can give them, like, maybe a couple of days off, maybe they can give them a week off, maybe they can do where they just test them every single day. And if they're over a hundred, they can't do their scenes, and they'd have to re. That means they're gonna have to rewrite the that episode because they can't use them, or have backup actors that they're gonna have to use. You know, that's what I'm kind of wondering. So I said that to him, and he's all like, well, "You know what? They don't have to worry about that because they probably have shows." recorded until sub new episodes until September anyways so they're worried about that in September and I'm just like uh no I said my junior hospital that I watch every single fucking day is on reruns right now they've been on reruns for like a month and they're not doing new episodes until August so you're wrong and then he's like well I knew for days of my life they do that uh, no, I don't know why you think you know Days of Our Lives so well when you don't watch soaps, but no, Days of Our Lives is on, um, Days of Our Lives was on reruns before General Hospital was, so you're wrong. And then, after I corrected him, he's all like, Okay, well, I know for days of lives they do that. So they're becoming 
back in September. No, no, no. They're on reruns right now, stupid. And I should know because I know soaps because I watch soaps. So, you're wrong and I'm sorry. But I'm not going to fight with him about it because then he'll get all upset and get mad and yell and then because he's the type of person that thinks he's always right. When no you're not because I know soaps. And I know when they're coming back. And I remember when people tell me and I don't read half the posts. Anyways, I'm going to get going. Talk to y'all later. Later haters.